Hello, I'm David Solomons, the author of Doctor Who, The Secret in Vault 13, and I'm going to read you a section from it. We come into a story at a point where the Doctor uh, and her TARDIS crew have landed on the planet Dorm. And um, it's a very strange planet that seems basically uninhabited apart from a colony of children. Um, and they are about to discover um, the secret of Dorm. The Doctor looked up, her eyes bright with understanding. I think I know what this place is. The Phaeton was carrying a boarding colony. I don't understand, said Graham. On Earth in your time, some parents send their children away to boarding school, right? Well, that tradition continued into the 41st century, but with population growth at an all-time high, only the extremely rich were able to send their children to Earth schools. Off-world boarding colonies were established for everyone else. From what Peyton here is saying, it appears that the SS Phaeton was travelling to one of them. When it crashed, the surviving students built a society based on the only thing they knew. Boarding school, said Graham, understanding. Now, said the doctor, if you will excuse me, I have to think. She sat down on the floor, crossed her legs and closed her eyes in meditative silence. Peyton's expression curled in confusion. What did she mean in your time? It was like she was giving you a history lesson. She was. The doc is a time traveller, explained Graham. Been flying around the universe, solving problems and saving lives for 13 generations. Peyton's mouth gaped. A time traveller? She looked at Graham. And you? Yep, well, time hitchhiker might be more accurate. Though if we're taking in the whole career path, I average out to bus driver. A time bus driver, said Peyton in wonder. No, I... never mind. He glanced at the doctor, still sitting there in a bubble of calm contemplation. Who knew where her mind had drifted off to? To kill time, he decided to tell Peyton about their mission, the gardeners and the key to Vault 13. When he'd finished, the girl thought for a moment before speaking. Would this key open the door to a garden? That would make sense, said Graham. I mean, about as much sense as stashing three magical keys throughout the time and space. The faculty carries a set of keys, she said. One opens the door to Plainfield. It's the only place in dorm where there are trees and flowers. It's not for ordinary students. Only perfects like Porter are allowed in, and even then on just one day a year. I've seen pictures, it's beautiful. The faculty spends most of its time there. Typical, said Graham. Teachers at my school had a staff room like that. Rumour had it there was a tropical aquarium in there and unlimited wagon wheels. Graham felt as certain as he could that the key to Plainfield must also be one of the keys to Vault 13, not that the information was much use to him in here. So where is this Plainfield then, he asked. The only access is through the head study, said Peyton, but you can't get in. The faculty won't let you. Don't worry, Doc will find a way. It's kind of our thing. We just need to get out of here. Well, it had better happen before tomorrow, said Peyton dismally. It's graduation, the first in the school's history. That's why I'm in here. I tried to escape the ceremony. Graham looked confused. When I was your age, I was desperate to leave school and get out into the world. Then our worlds must be very different. She's right, the doctor piped up, opening one eye. Finished your Time Lord Yoga then, said Graham. I'll have you know that I have been meditating on a plan to save the school, one that doesn't involve organising a dance. She paused, and Time Lord Yoga's on Thursdays. She jumped to her feet. Notice that smell in the air? Graham sniffed. Damp PE kit? The doctor sighed. Atmosphere scrubbers, struggling to recycle what little air they've got in here. Beyond the protective habitat of the dome, this planet can't support human life. And even if it could, the only things out there are the spectres. Peyton's not in here because she has an aversion to wearing a gown and mortarboard. A horrified expression slid across Graham's face as the fate of the graduates struck him a moment before the doctor uttered the words aloud. She's in here because graduation means death.